I would absolutely love if you would subscribe to this channel. So click the little subscribe button and you will be notified of all of the rankings, interviews, recaps, and previews. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor Jacob Moore from Hallmark Ride and you're watching Hallmark Happenings. I'm trying to decide where to start. There's so much because I know you've done a couple other interviews. I watched those and it was kind of in the beginning a little bit. Um, there had been a couple of episodes and now we're a little bit deeper about halfway through this season. And I want to yes. talk about last week's episode where there's a little bit of a scuffle between your character and Cash. What was that yes. like? Were you excited to kind of have some action in there? I, it was so fun. Uh, Bo and I get along famously. Uh, Bo, who plays Cash, of course. And so uh, we really got to, before the scene, we had to sort of figure it out with the director and, and writers and figure out, you know, what we were going to do. And, and we had a, a lovely fight choreography that sort of sort of helped us uh, navigate, you know, so we don't get hurt. We don't we don't actually hurt each other. So it was, uh, but it was, it was really intense. And we had, there was a lot going on. There was the rain, we had, you know, rain machines on set. So all, all of that, there was a torrential downpour and we had to, you know, time things with the rain and with us and like our movements. And then, you know, Sarah's character, uh, Val comes in and has to separate us. And we're, you know, we're not small guys and she's fairly petite. And so we had to be careful, you know, two of her, you know, because she was running in and physically stopping us. And we both just, had, and everybody just had to make sure that it all was sort of like a dance uh, and it worked so that we didn't uh, get anybody really injured on set. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was so fun. Such, such a blast to shoot. Yes, it was definitely like, whoa. I, I mean, you kind of, there was a buildup. We knew that uh, there was some yeah. tension between these two characters, but it's interesting to hear kind of the behind the scenes, like all the different elements that come together for like a pretty quick yeah. um, few seconds. Yeah, it's crazy how fast, it's, it's amazing all of the work and, and hard work and effort and people and behind the scenes things that happen to have scenes that are just, you know, they seem like a blip in the big scheme of the show, you know, like they're like our, in, in the first episode, our dancing scene, you know, we learned how to two-step and we do, went to two-step rehearsals and we, you know, just for that little, you know, bit there. And then, you know, for this, like I said, we had, we had a, a guy on set who was choreographing the fight and making sure we knew, you know, we knew what we were doing, where we were punching and what we could hit and not, and, and you know, doing that whole dance and just almost always you know the behind the scenes on every scene it seems like there's it's always far more complex and far more involved than anybody would ever you know know you just see it and you go oh, that's cool <laughs> and they i mean i do too i watch shows and you know movies and tv shows and i go oh that was a neat scene and i'm like i have no idea how much you know went into it oh yeah the magic of movie making um right. okay i did think of something uh as you were discussing that scene yeah. Which is kind of related, but not really. Of all the characters on the show, is there a character whose storyline you're really kind of enjoying watching? Um, that's a great question because yeah, as you know, when we're on set and when we're shooting it, I'm doing my thing and doing my scenes and I sort of know my character and I I I read the script, I know what's happening, but it's very different to read it on the page and then see the actors you know, perform it and, the, and what they add and what the director adds. You know, it's, it's such a collaborative art form that, you know, the writing is a big part of it, but it's also everything else. And everybody, you know, the lighting, the sound, the, the hair and makeup and wardrobe, like everybody adds their piece. So it really is, I'm genuinely a fan. Like I genuinely like the show and like watching it, you know, on Sunday nights with everybody else, because I get to see scenes that I didn't see on the day and get to see, you know, how things play out with all the other actors. So I don't know, it would be hard to pick, I don't know, a character or a storyline or something that intrigues me. I mean, I I have to say, I love Nancy's character, Isabel. Like I, I love when she has scenes opposite Greg, who plays the Mayor Hank, or opposite, um, you know, the, the the Farrier Cody, or opposite, like, I just, I, she's really, I mean, I just, I just love Nancy Travis in general. She's fantastic, but because, I got to, we got to do a few scenes together, but most of my scenes are, you know, with, you know, the kids or, or, you know, like, you know, we're all sort of, you know, there's a love triangle and all that stuff. So it's like, I, early on the first couple of episodes, I got to interact with Nancy and occasionally we get to do like, you know, big uh, scenes, you know, big family dinners and scenes like that. Uh, but I think just selfishly, I like watching uh, her stuff because I don't get to see her, you know, as much as I get to see uh, Bo's character or Tierra's character or even, you know, Sarah or uh, Jake's characters because I, I sort of interact with them. 
Interesting. That's that's very true. So you're kind of like, wait, I'm watching kind of a lot of their stuff, but yeah. what's really going on over here? So yeah, that, that's fun. And she's like such a strong female oh. lead. So I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a joy. Like it's a joy to watch. Like I like I said, I'm just a fan. I'm just watching like, you know, with my popcorn at home, like waiting to see what happens. I can picture that. You just sit there, you're like, okay, I right. have the extra butter. I'm ready to go. <laughs> right, right. Like, oh, oh, I didn't oh. I mean, I guess I knew that, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I know there was a little um they put a little clip of next week's episode, which I forgot to watch before this. I it was like I yeah, meant yeah. to and I just didn't get around to it. But um, can you tell like everyone kind of what's going on? Um, at least like without giving anything away in next week's episode. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, it's nothing to give away to say that my you get to meet my father in this next episode. So that's been out there. So I'm not spoiling anything to say that. That is, I mean, you know, from my silly uh, sort of like, for, for like a, a selfish, egocentric actor standpoint, I really enjoy it because you get to see my character, you know, his interaction with his family. And, you know, you've had all this, you've had this buildup of of the McMurray's talking about like, oh, you come from this family and you can't be trusted. And they have a very sour taste in their mouth of who my family is and where I come from. And, and I'm probably not doing the, my family any favors because I sort of agree with that. You know, you get to see, uh, you know, like an episode four when uh, Gus and Missy are, are hanging out and having a picnic and you get to hear some of that, a little bit of that backstory and just how he, you know, Gus basically, you know, doesn't would like to separate himself uh, from his family. And, and, and so when now this next episode, you, I mean, firework, you know, fireworks kind of start happening because you have these worlds colliding of, you know, Gus, I mean, his, his family, he comes from wealth. He comes from a significant amount of wealth. And you see that interaction between these very, you know, humble, hardworking, you know, small town community ranch, ranching rodeo people and family. And then you see him come in and it's a very just the whole his whole tone, his whole like who he is. It's a completely it's a stark contrast to what to what you've been seeing uh, in the McMurray's and how they operate and their, you know, their love for each other and their support and all this. And then you see, you know, how my dad and I interacted. It's it's different. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, pretty exciting. Is Dylan Neal playing your dad? Is that yeah. right? OK, cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's done some Hallmark stuff. I, I, I He's been he's been around the Hallmark uh, universe, I think, for a while. He, he was lovely to work with. He was in a wonderful series that got canceled after three seasons. Unfortunately, Cedar Cove, it was a Hallmark series. That's you right. should watch it. It's so good. I know. I should. In fact, now that you say that, I do remember him. I remember him talking about that uh, on set and talking about Cedar Cove and and uh, what uh, what a nice experience he had. So, yeah, I should. I should catch up on that. You said there's there's three seasons of it? Yes. Oh, it was so good. And it ended on a cliffhanger and Andy McDonald's oh. in it. And she's wonderful. So yeah, it's yeah. a, it's a great um, show. You should watch it. It's funny, but it's dramatic. So. Oh, that's great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. I'll give you my review. Yeah. Oh yes, definitely. Hopefully it's five stars. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, of course this is a Western and I know um, with Yellowstone being so popular, uh, yeah. the Westerns are obviously nothing new. They've been around forever and it's kind of like they died off a little bit, like after Gunsmoke and Bonanza ended. And then now here we are back again. People want to watch this. Yeah. Were you familiar with like Westerns in general? Or did you kind of like try to brush up and watch some John Wayne movies? Oh, that's funny. That's a good, yeah, that's a great question. No, I, I, I really am familiar. I've always been a fan of Westerns. I've always, my, you know, my dad always was a big fan of Westerns. And I grew up in a rural community where there was horse riding and, and uh, farming uh, and so it was a very popular genre. My dad owned horses and and just that lifestyle and that sensibility of the Western, even the modern Western, uh, was very appealing to, you know, myself and family and, and friends in that area. So, yeah, so I was very familiar and, and uh, I didn't need to do a lot of research to get into that uh, headspace of like rural living and ranching and small town community and all that stuff. Oh, do you have a favorite Western? <laughs> Oh, favorite Western. Yeah. Uh, Tombstone, which is an old movie. Uh, geez, I don't even know. I mean, it's maybe the 90s. I forget when it came out, but it's it's That's got really every. Old. Yeah. Well, I know <laughs> comparatively to like, I don't know, modern 
but yeah, I, it's my favorite Western and arguably one of my favorite movies, just period of all time. It's just fantastic. I could watch, you know, Val Kilmer and, and Kurt Russell and, and just every, I mean, there's literally every action, Bill Paxton and Howard Booth and uh, Sam Elliott, uh, every, I mean, just like every, you know, celebrity ever is in it. And like, you know, at a younger age and they're all just fantastic and doing amazing stuff. And it's about the real life, you know, a shootout at the OK Corral and, and all that. And it's pretty, uh, I was, as a kid, I was super into it. Like I had a map of the OK Corral and where it all went down and exactly like I was, yeah, <laughs> I was, I was like a Western nerd, if that's possible. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Westerns are amazing. That's why I was so excited when I saw Hallmark was going to be bringing this to like in yeah. a family friendly version because they're definitely not all yeah. um, family yeah. friendly. Uh, I was going to say if yeah. you're a fan of Sam Elliott, have you seen 1883? I haven't yet. I haven't yet. But I hear I hear good things. I know there's so many that there's so many spinoffs of uh, Yellowstone, like prequels and like pre prequels. And isn't uh, isn't Helen Mirren and, and Harrison Ford and one of the in 1883 or no 1923 oh oh okay then there's uh, there's so many spinoffs i can't i can't keep track <laughs> yeah i know it's crazy it's a, a whole universe as they say but i agree with you i do like i like the fact that we one of the appeals of this is that it is family friendly and the idea that you can have that uh, modern western sensibility and the rural you know community and the ranching community and rodeo and all of that world, you know, told, you know, real genuine characters and real stories and, and you know, genuine heart. But with, you know, the hallmark added of, of, of always leading with love and familial love and relationship love and, you know, not showing grotesque violence or not showing grotesque, you know, nudity or things, you know, things that are just a little, you know, sometimes I, I mean, I, I get it. There's a time and a place for that, but I sometimes it's a little unnecessary. And I think you could tell a story without that. So that's true. You can always tell a story without that if you want to. Yeah. Um, right, right. I mean, I honestly, I'd be completely shocked if this wasn't renewed for a season two. I'm sure it will be. But what are your hopes for your character as well as just like the show in general if we get a season two? Yeah, I think that I think season two would, would be great. Because I think we just, you know, you're just getting started. I always tell people who are tuning in or are late, you know, people who are are just finding it. Uh, I have friends and family who will text me like, oh, I didn't know oh, I was behind or I was, you know, I was binging a show, you know, whatever it is, got, you know, work and busy. I didn't get to the TV. And it's like, yeah, everybody's busy. Everybody's got life, you know, so don't don't stress if you don't get to it. But I, I always say just just tune in like you don't need to if if you get interested and you want to try to solve the puzzles about where the characters come from and there there is enough there to satisfy people who are you know laser locked in and trying to solve the mystery of you know Val's past and my family and and what happened with Austin and all these you know mysteries going on the the writers do lay clues and you can know things that the casual viewer wouldn't if you want to but it's also a show that you can just pop in and so I will tell them, like, listen, just just, you know, turn it on on Sunday and, and see if you like it, because I, I kind of like I, I mean, it's fair enough. I'm a little biased. I'm, I'm in the show, but I do genuinely watch it as a fan. And I think, you know, as the episodes go, it just gets more intense and you learn more about the characters and there's more happening and there's more conflict. And there's so every episode in this season sort of keeps getting better and better and better. And so um, I'm excited about, you know, the possibility of a second season, because I think there's so many now that they have established this world and it takes a long time and it is a little, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to do to just, you know, to create a world and establish it and establish the characters and have everybody understand what the dynamics are between everybody. So now once all that is established, then you can really start to sort of play in that world and see what happens. Um, I don't know. I, 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 um, I just love the world. I love the characters in the world. I would be happy. You know, they could, they, I mean, they can do whatever they want with my character with Gus. I think I, I'd be, I think I, I'm fascinated. I'm genuinely, it's kind of funny in doing the first season, I, I, I will feel the same about, you know, the second season as I did the first where, you know, as an actor, you read the scripts and I, I'm genuinely excited to see, Oh, what, who, What's Gus going to do now? Who, you know, like, where are they weaving this? And they did a good job at the beginning of sort of helping guide us and say, hey, here's the here's what we're thinking about or here's what, you know, so we have a we have an idea of what's what who our characters are. 
But, you know, sometimes you read something like, oh, OK, well, that adds to the, all the backstory and the stuff that I, as an actor, have put on this character and know. And so every episode was kind of fun. So I feel the same way about a second season. I think it'd be really fun to see what, you know, because I, I think there's a bit of a mystery there. Like, is Gus sure seems like a good guy, you know, and, and, and I think he's genuine and sincere in his desire to be a part of this community and a part of the, this ranch. And, and I think he's genuine and sincere about his attraction to Missy and wanting, you know, to continue that and further that. So I'll, I think it would, I think there's a lot of interesting uh, plot lines and storylines there that as we go in this season, like I said, it only gets better. Like this next episode, the, the this previous episode is, is great and, and full of, you know, a lot of things happening and, and moving pieces and every episode gets better and better. So by the time you get to, you know, uh, the last episode, I, I genuinely uh, think people will be almost, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say, there's not going to be like riots in the streets, but I think, I think, I think people will be so uh, into these because they're, they're, they're just incredibly interesting characters and their stories are interesting and they just get better and better. And, and they, as they reveal more, you go, oh, oh, oh. And it starts to, you know, the relationships start to make sense and it starts to get interesting. And you start to wonder, you know, what's going to happen uh, with all, with every character. There's not a, not a bad, not a uninteresting, you know, uh, romance or, or conflict or whatever in the, in the show. So I'm, I'm like, I, yeah, like I said, I'm just a fan. I'm excited to see what happens too. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, goodness, how do I respond? <laughs> that was such a great answer. I will say, I think you definitely have joined such a great um, like community um, with Hallmark Channel. The fans are so invested, and you're yeah. you mentioned like how the season will end. I don't know if you're familiar with One Calls the Heart, but a couple of seasons ago there was a, like a huge okay. Th there was a love triangle, and yeah. it went on for like three seasons, and then finally at the end of the season that we got our answer, and boy, people um, reacted very strongly. Now, see, I'm 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 a little ignorant of that. Like I know of it, and I've seen you know some of One Calls the Heart, but I don't. I not I'm not uh, up to date on this thing. Was it a surprise? People were so divided. I was just like, oh my goodness. Really? But yeah, it was like, I was kind of surprised, but I was happy with the end result. But um, okay. not everybody was excited to see how this season ends and like just seeing everybody's yeah. reactions. Such a fun thing. So yeah, yeah, so fun. I keep telling people like, don't expect or wh whatever you think, you know, whatever the traditional thing, whatever you think is going to happen, just, just watch because they, you know, like they're, it's, they're very good. They're, they're, it's not, it's not a traditional story or maybe a story that's been told before on Hallmark or, or in general. Um, I think it's a new, one of the, one of the appeals, one of the things that I think drew myself and all the other actors to the project was that, you know, you sort of get uh, lulled into this sense of, oh, okay, I know this story. Like, oh, okay, here's this in the ranch. And, and okay, this seems like this. But it's so good. And the as you go, you start to see what the show really is about. And it's and it's great. And it's sort of it's sort of moving the needle uh, in a very positive way. It's just yeah, I, I can't I can't speak highly enough about what they've you know, the, the concepts and what they're doing with it so i guess i just like yeah it just like i said every episode you'll start to maybe get a little sense of oh okay maybe it's not the what we thought you know maybe it's not maybe people aren't gonna you know do the things that we thought they would do or be with the people they thought you know we thought they were gonna be with, or you know make the choices that we thought they were gonna make so it's uh it's really yeah i can't yeah i'm excited i'm just excited to see see what happens too um, yeah, absolutely. I I mean, the writers have done such a great job, like giving us little bits of information as we go, because that keeps you hooked as an audience member. You're like, yeah. you don't want it all at front at once. Like, oh, okay. But uh, you want to be like, okay, cliffhanger next week, keep going, learn more. But I will say there's a Western. I watched it a couple months ago and like, it's, what is it? It's a mini series. I think it's okay. six episodes. I felt like every other episode I was watching it like a different show because it like didn't make sense. Then all of a sudden, the oh. last couple episodes, everything ties together, and you're just like, "What?" Yeah. It's called English. It's on Amazon Prime Video. You should watch. Okay, it. English. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you know it's funny you bring that up because that is sort of how I feel. I think 
as people go, you know, I th and it's funny because it's hard for me because I have family and friends who are like, okay, so what is this or what's going to happen? And I'm like, I can't, I can't tell you. <laughs> like, just, just trust me, like, stay with it, stay with it. Like go, you know, go with it. Cause you know, sometimes characters make choices you don't like, or they, or you see, you know, stuff happens and you go, Oh, I didn't work. Like you said, there's so many things and it seems disparate or it seems like, well, this doesn't all go together, but it does. And it's, it's really good. And like, there are things that seem so far away. Okay. But I'll give you a little tidbit anyway. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. Everybody calm down. I'm just, <laughs> but there are storylines between like my character that, you know, seem like one thing. And there are storylines between uh, another character in the family that seem like they are, you know, it's something else or it's something, you know, like not, tied not but they might be that's all i can say i'm not gonna say anymore that's all i can say it was very vague but that's yeah, okay I, I had <laughs> listen i had to be Betsy, I, would, I would tell you everything but <laughs> where's the fun in that where's the fun i part? know i know yeah. i know I'm, I'm i'm sworn to secrecy otherwise i'd give you it all it's so it's so fun and when you start to see the connections you're like oh and it it's yeah it's great so that's i'm always I, it's hard. I know it's hard because there's a million new shows and there's a million new things for people to get attached to. And you really, you know, like all shows, you have to get into it and it takes a minute and it takes time and effort. And, you know, like people, people deserve high quality entertainment. And, and, you know, I, so I guess I just keep telling people like, hang on, I promise you, like everybody worked very hard to deliver something very good. And it is good. You just have to, you know, you just have to have to stick with it and know that the, there are, all these, you know, things that you think are separate or things that you think, well, how does this all, or who cares about this? Or why is this tied to this? Or what is, it, it works. It makes sense. You just gotta, you just gotta, you know, believe and go with it. And you're going to start, it's not, we're not going to wait till season two. You're going to start to see some, some payoff of this stuff in at the end of this season. So, so get excited. <laughs> you're very excited. I can tell you have a lot of energy. <laughs> I am. I am. I do. I, well, I like, I've, I've told other, past, you know, past, interviews and stuff it's easy like this it's easy to promote something when you believe in it and it's and it's good you know and i think it's a rare thing you know for us i mean i've i've done a lot of different things and a lot of different projects and you know sometimes you i, I i'm always fairly positive about everything but sometimes you just align more your ideals or your philosophy sort of align more with this and i think i just I am nothing if not like a, a company man when it comes to Hallmark and the idea of what they're doing. I'm, I was ignorant of Hallmark. Like most of my career, I had no idea. I, I was, you know, uh, doing other things. And when I was introduced to this whole world of their concepts and the idea of, you know, they want to create great entertainment, but they just want to also have the familial love and, and hope and positivity and put that out in the world on top of that. Uh, and like we said, without being having, you know, over the top grotesque violence or nudity or things that are, you know, wildly offensive to people. Uh, and I just really I really dig that. I, I really like what they're doing. I really appreciate what they're doing. And I really like that they're like with this show and with The Way Home, they're they're these are they're going big, you know, like they're really um, making the effort to you know, tell compelling stories and, and just enhance and improve on what they've already been doing uh, well. Um, and I think I really, I really respect and appreciate that. So yeah, it's easy, easy to be excited. And, you know, like I said, I'm a fan, like I watch, I watch the episodes and I'm like, yeah, I, I genuinely like this show. I'm into it. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, first seasons of shows are so fun because you're learning about all the different characters. You're right. And you don't know, to, like, yeah. Wait, wait till season two to be like, oh, of course. Well, that makes sense. Oh, of course they did. You know, like, and even towards the end of this season, you'll look back and go, oh, okay, okay, yeah. But yeah, it is, it is fun to watch it and not know, like, well, I don't know any. I don't know this world. I don't know any of these people. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's such a great show. So uh, such um, high quality, I think, is kind of what you were alluding to a minute ago. It's a very high quality yeah. production. So um, yeah, just so proud of Hallmark for taking on new series like this. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same. I'm very like, yeah, like I said, I love what they're doing. I love their spirit. I love where their heart's at. You know, I mean, I pun intended, I guess, but I, I like I, I just really appreciate that they're attempting to tell, you know, have high quality entertainment while keeping their 
you know, uh, you know, the, the core of their company, which is, you know, love and, and, and hope and, and positivity and putting something that's not, you know, so difficult. I feel like life is just, you know, life can be really hard and people are working really hard and times can get really hard. And it's like, you just, you know, sometimes I think it's really nice to have entertainment where you don't have to worry about getting dragged down or getting, you know, Oh geez, somebody's going to kill a puppy or something, you know, like it's going to be some, like, it's just very nice. I really like, uh, yeah, their whole, their whole vibe. All good things. Only good things. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite part of portraying Gus Booker and ride? Oh man. Favorite. If I have to, I mean, there's a lot of great parts. I mean, the, the location is stunning. So every day on set, you're just looking out at mountains and ranch and real working ranch and horses and, and, you know, cows and bulls and it's fantastic. So that's pretty up there. Uh, but specific to my character, uh, I like, I mean, I like the, I mean, number one with a bullet is the cast I get to work with. Um, the people are just genuinely wonderful uh, humans. And I think getting to interact with and like see them work and see what they bring to the table in their performances. Uh, sometimes uh, I have to stop myself from just watching the show because on set, you know, I'm, I'm acting and I should be, you know, looking at them and responding and being in character. But, you know, sometimes, you know, like, uh, you know, Bo had a monologue earlier this season uh, where he's passionate and cares about his family. And there were moments, I mean, I'm just in the background, but there were moments where I'm just watching, you know, just as a family, like, oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm in this scene. Focus, act. Uh, and that happens, I mean, that happened, you know, with Tierra's character, there are countless times where we have a scene where we're doing something or we're interacting and I just, you know, I get caught up and I'm like, wow, these, these people are great. These, the, these, these guys are great. Or Nancy, you know, like, or Greg Lawson who plays uh, Hank is just fantastic. Like every, every actor, the, the guest actors that come in are amazing. Like everybody, uh, there's not a single person that isn't just, you know fun to watch and interact with. So, um, but yeah, and the clothes are nice. Gus is very wealthy. So his clothes are very expensive and that's fun. Uh, to wear his clothes. Uh, and yeah, also there's all sorts of fun things that happen it later on. You'll see uh, in the season, but in general uh, that I get to sort of do and be a part of where, you know, you get to, you get flashes of, Oh, you know, like he comes from a, a lot, you know, uh, and you get to sort of see some of that and it's pretty fun because then on set just as a human, you know, take off the acting mask. I get to experience, you know, a lot of those sort of very billionaire style activities that are pretty wild and fun. Yeah, that that would be nice to be in yeah. that world. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you go up to space if you want to have your own spaceship. Right. You're a billionaire. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Season two will just be me in space, just Gus in space. I'm sure. Hey. I'm sure Hallmark has the budget for for that. You never know. You know, I actually talked to an actor recently, Carlo Marx. I said, where would you like to go? And like, if you could visit anywhere. And he said, the moon. And I, we're like, hey, maybe there should be a, a movie about like an astronomer and an astronaut and they go yeah. to the moon. So who knows? <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Hey, you never know. You never know if it's a good script, if it's a good story, they'll do it. <laughs> I believe. That's right. Uh, there you go. So if you want to, we can finish up with um, rapid fire questions. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you want. Okay. Um, what is the last show you binge watched? I should binge watched. Uh, 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 what did, um, you know what? Okay. So, uh, can I say, uh, I think it's beef on Netflix, but I haven't finished it. Sure, you can say that. I've never heard of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Yeah. So I know nothing about it. It's not a. It's not an endorsement of any kind. I'm just telling you what. The honest answer. <laughs> I think I read an interview. You're a big football fan. I don't know if you're NFL or college, but do you have a favorite football team? Uh, yeah, the Bears. I mean, they're they're always bad, uh, but the Chicago Bears. So I'm kind of just stuck with them because I was born in Illinois and been a fan of them. And my mom was a fan and my family dog was named Peyton after Walter Peyton. So I'm just sort of stuck being a, you know, fan of the bears who are not great consistently. I understand. <laughs> what is your go-to coffee drink? Go-to coffee drink? 
Uh, okay, so I do weird. This is a great question. I have a, I make my own weird coffee. I don't like go to Starbucks or anything. And I put uh, like coconut oil in it and uh, like a dash of salt and some stevia and a little bit of green tea and a little bit of turmeric or turmeric and, and a little bit of cinnamon. And what else do I put in there? And I mix it all up in coffee beans and I grind it all up and I make it and I drink it. Wow. That's a, it's weird. a very healthy, interesting combination of flavors. Most people, I, most people who taste that to say that's in fact not coffee. It's disgusting. And why are you subjecting me to this? Because it keeps you looking youthful. That's why. Hey, listen, try it. Try it. Try to hang with all these uh, beautiful people on this show. My gosh. <laughs> and then um, finally, where's the place you'd like to visit that you have not yet traveled to? Oh, um, well, I can't say space because we've already done that. I'll say... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll say a realistic place on this earth that I've not been to would like to. Um, okay, so oh, this is kind of a cheat, but I I flew into, I've been to Ireland, but I've not spent any time there. Like I've, I've physically been there, but it was a very quick, you know, stop and I didn't have a lot of time. So I would love to go there and have time, like spend a week and just enjoy and, and you know, visit and truly get a sense of the, of the uh, country. I love that. This is going to close down any second. Thank you so much for joining oh, no. me, Tyler. I really appreciate it. Thank Watch you so much. every Sunday. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, please do. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Betsy. Lovely to meet you. Thank you too. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you love all things Up TV, Hallmark Channel, GAC Family, basically all of your made for TV movie channels, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the previews, the recaps, or the interviews. Until next time, thank you so much for listening to Hallmark Happenings. Have a great day.